Hello, this is uh, my first video of my Parker's and Schiffer pen collection. I have been collecting these pens for uh, four years now. Every month I I buy a pen, but uh, because I I love these pens, I love fountain pens. All my life I've been writing with uh, fountain pens. And uh, five years ago I discovered the Parker uh, 51 pen. This is the first, the first pen I bought five years ago. Uh, it is my day they use pen. I use this pen every day. Um, and later on I will make some other videos about uh, some of the pens. I like uh, the, the Parker 51. It is for me the, the most um, practical pen to use. It's a, a very nice pen, very nice pen. Then I bought some time ago a Parker 61. It is also a nice pen, but it has a, a very uh, fine nib. Then I use uh, my friend used a Parker 75, and I bought one. I bought uh, uh, this one. It's a French pen. Then I, I bought some other pens, all sterling silver, these ones, this, these two are sterling silver and gold plated, it's a vermiel pen, it's a very nice, it's a, a slightly yellow pen. Uh, then I discovered the, the Parker 75 Premier, this is one of them. This is another sterling, uh, no, this is a sterling silver, this is a heavily plated silver, this is an Athens, this is a all 14 karat gold nibs. Uh, then I, I come across with these pens, they are very small, they are Parker model uh, 180. They have a, a very nice nib. It's like a stilet. It's a um, solid gold, 14 karat gold nib. It's a very nice pen, but I have uh, big hands, and this is a, 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 a tiny, tiny pen. Then I bought two Dufol pens. Those are my expensive pens. Yet this is a continental and and uh, and a centennial and. This is a centennial, it's bigger, and this is uh, an international, also with eight, eight, 18 karat gold nibs. This is my, those were my expensive pens. This, they are very nice. This was, well, these pens were the top of the range. And I bought uh, some shifters too. Because I like like the nibs. This is um, an imperial or a trident with chrome. This is a gold plated, 14 karat gold plated with a solid gold nib. And this is a more modern. This is a targa. With a 14 karat gold nib as well. Um, I have some some original boxes, and that is the ink that I use. I use uh, mostly the Parker Quink, but in special occasions I use the Parker Penman. It's a stronger, deeper color ink. Um, but it is very expensive to buy and difficult to to find. So I use uh, the Quink ink. I have also a Pelican 
Pelican ink. Uh, this is a very good ink, but it is almost transparent. Um, it's a light pigment uh, ink, but it is, it is a very, very, very good ink as well. Let me uh, show you the nibs. Okay. Okay. Let's go. This is my my first pen. This is the pen who started the collection. It is a, a Parker model fifty one aromatic. I use this pen all day, all the week. I use mostly three pens. This my. Uh, Parker 51, I believe it is late 40s uh, pen or in the first years of the 1950s. Um, I use all, I use as well, this is uh, Parker 51, an aerometric 2, but it is an um, insignia. It's all. all 14 uh, pretend uh, uh, 14 karat gold filled or gold plated it's a very nice pen i have some dents but uh, this is a, a very 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 nice pen i like it a lot it's it's um, good for my hands it's a a big pen bulky uh, i i i enjoy it then I, I found this, this is a Parker 61 uh, capillary system. And I think it is from 1961 because of the, um, the cup. The cup is three tone gold plated. I think it is um, rainbow or a uh, hell run but i don't know much of it it is in gray it's it has a very 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 fine very fine nib i like it but i don't write with it uh, many times this is a parker 65 it has a um, huge nib 14 carat solid gold nib It's uh, a dual, dual jewel, double jewel, double jewel pen. But the nib is very stiff. Uh, it is a beautiful pen, but I don't write it with it because the nib is very stiff and don't have many flexibility. Then I have uh, the Parker 75. Uh, this I have most of my pens. This was the first one I bought. Uh, I believe it is um, a late uh, 60s or uh, the first years of 1917 because it has the flat tops and it has a, a, a zero in um, the older ones don't have this X scale of degrees and don't have the, um, the flat tops it's in working condition it's mint i never ink it it's a nice pen then i have uh, this is the, oh, I, I think it's the main no, i don't know if it's an insignia or not this is um, another parker 75 uh, don't have the scale 14 carat nib the tops are different tops are different I think it's a prince of Wales because of the the, the pattern this one I bought six months ago this is uh, oh, these are sterling silver 
and uh, gold uh, plated 14 karat it is the model named as a Vermeil uh, those are early 70s pen has a flat top then I have uh, another Parker 75 the earlier models or well uh, this is another Parker 75 sterling silver it's a later model and this is another sterling silver model 75 but this is a French French pen. I use this. I use this in my day. This is different. The grip and doesn't not have the the scale. But this is a nice pen. I bought them without um, a filler. This is a converter, a new converter. These are Parker 71, but it is the premier model. It's um, a late 1970, I think, uh, 1980s model. Uh, this is uh, Sterling Silver with an 18 karat gold nib. This is another Parker Premier, but it is. Um, silver plated, this is certainly silver, this is silver plated, heavily silver plated with an 18 karat nib and this is my nice pens, they are bigger than the 75 and heavier this is another this is an Athens model these are some interesting pens. This is a Parker 180 with 14 karat gold nib, like a stilet. These pens are uh, in America. You you cannot uh, enter a plane with this pen because it's considered a weapon. This is another one in lacquer same nib these are my expensive pens so far this is Dufold this is a Dufold uh, international it is a smaller one it is a 18 karat solid gold two-tone nib it's a very nice pen uh, and this is uh, the bigger version, this is a Centennial with a larger nib you can compare it ok, yet they are very, 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 very nice pens I like it, them a lot, but I don't use it much because I prefer the 51 and the older models and I have some uh, Schiffer pens too because I like the shape but they are a little bit smaller to my hands this is a, an Imperial with 14 karat gold nib this is another gold plated Imperial and this is a later one it is a Targa 18 karat gold nib as well this was my uh, tin pen I wrote with this pen for I don't know 15 years it is an inox chrome it's a cheaper pen but I, I like it a lot 
I have I had uh, uh, older Parkers but uh, this was metal it lasts uh, later on I will make some other videos but uh, for now it's it's all goodbye